So what's interesting is, Aaron, as you pointed out, the New York Times did point out the relationship between sanctions and aid. But on February 7th, this is what the headline said and the subheadline. The headline said, uh, the only border crossing for aid between Syria and Turkey is closed. And then the subheadline says, Syria is not able to receive direct aid from many countries because of sanctions. So the border crossing has been a lifeline. Now, scroll down and you'll see uh, on February 8th, it had been changed. Now the subheadline reads, as the Syrian government tightly controls what aid it allows into opposition held areas, border crossings with Turkey have been a lifeline. So note that wow. difference. Wow. Wow. So they acknowledge the truth that U.S. sanctions block aid to Syria. And then when they realize, oh, wait a second, uh, this exposes our policy of, of harming Syrians, denying them aid. We have to water that down. That's what they yeah. did. And we have That's to shift it. the blame to to the to the Syrian re regime. J uh, Jamima Pierre was the person who tweeted out those two uh, screenshots, and she's a professor uh, in the Department of African-American Studies and Anthropology at UCLA and former guest. It's just so sadistic. And we're going to talk more about all of this with our guest this week, Professor Joshua Landis. And so yeah. that is Democrats suck. What do we have for Republicans suck? Mm -hmm.